Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Faithfully Asia. And today's review is from Ali Pearl Hair. And this is an elastic band that came with my unit. However, I did notice that on the website you can purchase an adjustable elastic band and have it already sewn in for only a little over $3 more. In today's video, I will be comparing their new fake scalp deep wave unit with their traditional lace loose wave unit to see which one is a better buy. As you can see, the cap construction on this unit is the standard 13 by four. And this is what their fake scalp look like. As you can see, it's a double layered. There's a mesh overlay and it appears to be a really durable unit. Now, unfortunately, these knots were not bleached to my liking, so I am going to go in and bleach this unit, and I'm only going to be bleaching the front of the unit, which is about one to two inches. And this is something that I've actually started doing on all my units that don't come bleach. It's really simple, and I think it's a lot more foolproof and easier for people who are not necessarily comfortable with bleaching their units. Um, since it's only the front portion, it makes it a lot easier for you to control how deep and long you leave the bleach on. Of course, dolls, this is optional and not necessary. So for comparison purposes, I'm gonna let you see what their standard unit looks like. I will say that the deep wave unit did come plucked a little bit more than the fake scalp. And that's one of the benefits of going with the standard unit. And so that I have a fair comparison, I'm going to bleach the front of that unit as well. I'm going to set my timer for about 20 minutes, although I believe I left it on for about 25 minutes. And this is what the unit looked like once it was completed. Now, sometimes you do get a little bit of bleach at the roots of the unit, and that's an easy fix. I just go in with some of my black temporary color or you can use a permanent color and I take the spoolie and I just run it along the roots just to clean that up and this is what it looks like when I'm finished and as you guys can see this is a transparent lace unit so before I begin the install I just want to show you the comparison on what their standard unit looks like as well as you can see it's a little dark gray on the roots i am going to do a separate video to show you how i installed this unit however i did want you to see what it looked like for comparison purposes and i will show you what this looks like once i'm done so you can tell me which one you like better now I'm going to go in and I'm gonna cut the little tips of the lace that was remaining off off the corners. And I'm going to lay this unit down using my Aussie Instant Free Spray. Um, this is a spray I've been using lately because it gives me the temporary hold that I need. Of course, as I mentioned in my last video, if you are looking for something that's a stronger hold, I do recommend the Bedhead Free Spray or the Got To Be Glue Spray. I will have all of the sprays linked in the description box down below. So as I'm laying this unit, I do want you guys to pay attention to what the fake scalp looks like before I do any adjustments to it. And I decided to keep the middle part. So I'm going to lay some baby hairs as I really feel that complements the deep wave texture. Now, I, since I don't rock the middle part pretty often, I'm always kind of confused on how exactly to lay the baby hairs to see which one fits me best. So I tried this one out today. It was okay, it ended up being okay. I feel like if I keep wearing the middle part, I'll be able to master um, the baby hairs for the middle part as well. I feel like it's a lot easier for me to wear my curly units in the middle part as it doesn't make my face feel as elongated as the straight hair does. Now I am laying the baby hairs using my Lotta Body Foaming Mousse and I'm going on top of that with some of my wet line gel as I feel like it helps the baby hair lay down and stay down for the duration. And then lastly I'm going to go on top of the lace with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder and that's going to just help everything blend in with my complexion and make everything a lot more seamless. Now I do want to remind you guys that I do not have a stocking cap on underneath this unit. So I think that it is blending pretty well with the fake scalp 
by itself and I'm going to just lay that down with my elastic band for about five minutes and once that's finished I'm going to go over the top of the unit using my faithfully Asia beauty wax stick and my hot comb and that's going to just help the top of the hair lay down and prevent it from having any lumps or bumps y'all and I'm rocking the middle part <laughs> What you know about that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put um, some of this Lot of Body Curl Activator. I used this last week. It's pretty thick. It's like a conditioner type cream. So use it sparingly. Dolls, I'm really loving this cream. It feels very moisturizing. And you wanna be sure to make sure you get the end so it remains moisturized once the hair dries. And I am getting some shedding, but it's deep wave here. We kind of come to expect that. So dolls, this is the final look for this fake scalp wig. So let me give you the specs on this unit that I'm wearing. This is the 13 by four deep wave unit in 24 inches. One thing on the downside is that it's a 13 by four as opposed to a 13 by six. However, when it comes to curly hair like this, it doesn't really matter because you don't really want to part your hair too far to the back. At least I don't when I'm wearing um, curly units. One thing about Ali Pearl hair is that units are super affordable and they come in a variety of lengths. They come from eight all the way to 30 inches. As I mentioned, I have this in 24 inches, but you can choose the length that's right for you. I'm gonna turn around really quickly so you guys could see how this hair lays on me. I really like the curl pattern for this deep wave. Ali Pearl has some of the best deep wave um, that I've ever received. I really love their deep wave. I'm not gonna even hold you on that one. Look how pretty it is. Do you see those curls? And that lot of body um, really helps. So it's gonna help it stay like this so it's not gonna get all dry or puffy or anything like that. Now it's time for the comparison. I showed you what the standard wig looked like initially once I put it on my head. And now you see what it looks like after I did the install. As I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna have a separate video on this install. I just wanna let you guys see what it looks like so you can compare to see which one you prefer. So let's go ahead and get to the final results. What do you guys think about this unit? What are your thoughts? Which one do you prefer? Do you think that this face scalp is uh, makes things a lot easier or do you prefer to just go the old traditional way um, and use the regular wig without the face scalp? I have mixed feelings about both of them. I used to strictly be against fake scalp. Then I've started receiving some really good fake scalp. So I'm kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm not. I'm not like 100% with anything yet. This fake scalp is pretty decent. It, it's not the best fake scalp that I received, but it's priced accordingly for the type of length that you're gonna get. And I think the other fake scalps that I reviewed don't carry this type of of curl patterns like the deep waves and the loose deep waves, which I actually really love. So it's always good to have options. If you guys are interested in purchasing this unit, as always, I'll have the information linked in the description box down below. But guys, before we get out of here, I'm gonna need y'all help naming this wig. What are we gonna call her? <laughs> Go ahead and leave your name suggestion in the comment section down below. And I did pick a name for the unit I reviewed last week. The new name as well as the person who submitted that name will be listed across the screen. And if you found this video helpful and you're not part of the Faithful fam, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family. I'd love to have you. And as always important, guys, until next time, you guys stay blessed. And if it be God's will, I'll see you in my next video. Take care now.